Education Oversight Chair Speaker Judy Wompat says a recent markup meeting on Bill 274 helped address several concerns. The measure was introduced by Senator Aline Yamashita and would implement a public preschool program in the Department of Education. Because originally there was an, a, an appropriation of $4 million and in conversations with the primary author, uh, it was going to be like $500,000. When DOE came in, they said over the five-year period, they needed $9 million. And then today in the markup, uh, from it was going to be nothing at all to now the possibility of actually then hiring a, allowing for the hiring of a program coordinator. So, I mean, you can see then how the numbers you see had, had varied. Wampad, who was a co-sponsor of the bill, says this markup with the Office of Finance and Budget was important because she does not want to promise something that the government won't be able to fulfill. But the markup wasn't just to get clarification on the numbers. The other was that in the public hearings there were other items that were discussed between the author and and some of the uh, daycare center owners. And then we needed to talk to the university, we needed to talk to GCC, you know, public health. There's just there's so many people. And Wampat, meanwhile, says Senator Yamashita has been diligent in her research and continues to work with the committee in order to move the bill forward. So what's next? It was a very good uh, uh, markup. We will continue. We're going to now look at uh, a substitute bill and, and then we're going to continue the conversation, of course, with OFB uh, before we put it out into session. As for then Acting Governor Ray Tenorio's comments last month accusing Wampat of stalling on Bill 274 and a few other measures, she says that's far from the truth. Because there's some things in the letter that he, he put in basically making some uh, false innuendos and some accusations in terms of bills not being heard by you know the chairs or bills uh, of the minority. And the rule has been, at least with me, is to be, is to be able to uh, be fair to both sides. Universal Pre-K, we should note, is part of Governor Eddie Calvo's 10-point plan announced during this year's State of the Island address. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.